What's up guys? We are back here with another episode with Relentless Ranch. Um, sorry I've been away for a while. COVID has kind of made life very hectic for me and for everyone else as you know, but I am back. Also, today's video is sponsored by Lemonade Pet Insurance and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about that later on. And a little announcement, Racy, as you can hear in the background, just had her first litter of puppies. And they are the cutest, most adorable things ever. And today you get to meet them. Well, when they're, when they're young like this, you help them. So you go like this, it's kind of like they just kind of stick on their like velvet. and some bottles here. Look at this one. So I was supposed to fly out here on Saturday and she's supposed to have puppies on Saturday afternoon. But her progesterone tests on Friday show that she needed to have them like right away. She was a big mama and she had a lot of puppies, so Unfortunately, I missed the birth, and now they're about two days old. And this little puppy is Rugger, so he's a little boy puppy. He's just darling. He's just a pretty, pretty little boy. And he's been eating a ton, and he has little blotches on his tummy there. Isn't he cute? Look at that little face. There you go. Such a good puppy. And he's been really eating a lot. So he's put on about six ounces. Today's Tuesday. This is Rutch, R-U-T-T, and Rutch doesn't miss many meals. Look at the tummy on him. He goes, yeah, he goes, I'm a big eater because I'm going to be a big puppy. They all smell me because I smell like puppy formula. She's a little tank. Oh, I know, he's a tank. <laughs> he goes, I'm always the first to the table and the last to leave. Look at, look at the size of his little tummy. Look at that. And that's all from Mama's milk, too. And here's Ripley. And look at him. So he's a cute little puppy. So he's getting, he had his dew lesson yesterday. Look at the wrinkles on his nose. Look at that. Look at those wrinkles. You are so cute. And he has on his tummy, he has just a little teeny spot. Uh -huh, he's a good puppy. Look at, look at the wrinkles. He goes, yeah, I'm a good puppy. And see how his nose is beginning to turn black already? Look at that. Look at that. Oops. Here's Rags. And Rags, oh, look at his. And you can see with Rags here, he's another little boy. You can see his nose, they all are born with pink noses, and then the freckles come. And their ears are just flaps right now, and their eyes are closed, and those will open about 14 days, so you can imagine the shock it must be when they see the world in here. So he looks a lot like his daddy, Ringo. Yeah, he's a puppy. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty little girl. She's a very wiggly little girl. Look at that cute face. And she's a big girl. Too. Yeah, she is. This is little Reese. I shouldn't call you little. She has the white socks here, Look at her. and this is the one that has a little heart on her belly. Yeah. She goes, yeah, she goes, I'm going to be a heartbreaker, yeah. And she goes, put me down, I have things to do. And you can see, look at, she goes, yeah, look at that cute face. I see her heart, she's a real heartbreaker, look at that cute little tummy, yeah. God, the girls are pretty too. Hey, you got a little wrinkly nose too. This is rainy, she's lilac colored. Look at that cute face. Yeah, so she's a pretty and she has the little freckles coming out of her nose. Her mama has the most prettiest freckles in the world. Her mama's racing and daddy's Ringo. And then she has a nice 
white on her tail there. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's a good girl. And she has kind of a blaze through her tummy there. Yeah, such a good girl. So. <laughs> the whole bellies. Yeah, they all do. She goes, yeah, because the Racy jumps. feeds them all the time. She goes, she jumps into the bobby box by herself. I'm sure she won't be cheap for very long. This is Rave. Look how cute she is. She goes, I've been, I put on, I weighed her today, and she's already put on almost a half a pound since she came home. So, oh, my. Yeah, look at her. Look at that cute little face. She is so cute. It makes her teeth hurt. Well, this is Ricky, and Ricky's a pretty, pretty little girl. Look at, she has a darker face. Because I like, yeah, I like to show her. Isn't she a pretty little girl? And they all have, what you want to have is a blaze here, a little Swiss cross. You want to have white at the tips of each toe and a little bit of white on her tail. Well, she made a little bit of white, but not a lot. Are these your babies? You going, are you going to go look and check on your babies? I know, I know, yeah. They're breaking right? Yeah. This is Reagan, right? She's a wild card. She's she's a little miss personality and has so much energy. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Hi, I know. Oh, and this is Sasha. Sasha wants to say hello. But <laughs> this is one thing about the breed that I love so much is they're literally one of the most affectionate, loving breeds. <laughs> All they long for is your attention. This is all you guys want. They just want to just be touched. This is actually our oldest female here, Sasha. Hi. Sasha's eight. And she's healthy as can be. She's such a pretty girl. But one of the things I want to talk to you guys today about, and it's the sponsor of the video today, and that's pet insurance. Um, today's video is sponsored by Lemonade Pet Insurance. And I think it ties perfectly into, you know, having the new puppies here and, you know, in eight weeks we'll be going to new homes and here at, you know, Relentless Ranch we require all new families to get pet insurance and there's a ton of reasons why we require that. The health and safety of our dogs is just as important as family members. One of the most important parts about getting a pet insurance policy is getting it at the beginning of a puppy's life so that they can live a long, happy, healthy life. One of the cool things I love about Lemonade Pet Insurance is one, it takes seconds to sign up and get a quote for your pet. We have all the girls out here. But not only does it take seconds to insure your pet, pet sorry, she barks if I stop petting her. <laughs> guys, guys, I know, I know. Okay, I'm gonna have to walk. Not only does it take seconds for you to sign up for your pet insurance, you can insure your pet for the price of a pet toy, even a subscription to Netflix or Hulu, you can insure your pet with lemonade. People always wonder what does pet insurance cover? Pet insurance covers diagnostics, procedures, and medications when illness and accidents happen. You can save on tests, vaccines, and essential cares with their wellness package for your pet. <sighs> Lastly, what I want to talk about is Lemonade's Give Back program. Not only will you be helping your pet by insuring it, you have the opportunities to help other charities as well. Lemonade only takes a flat fee, so whatever's left over goes to charities of your choice. Anything from Humane Society, oh, everything from the Humane Society, Friends of Animals, SPCA, um, just to name a few. If you'd like to learn more about Lemonade and their pet insurance policy, which I highly suggest, please click the link in the description below and start insuring your pet today. So when the babies latch on and when they start to make that noise, it's called a letdown reflex. And I'll show you what her face looks like right now, but she basically goes into this kind of, I don't know how you describe it, but like this very hyper-relaxed state. So this is her. What they also do is they all squeal a whole bunch and that makes the milk flow. There you go. Yeah. So now they're trying to make the noise to make her do more milk. Puppy puppies.
So you see, they're trying to make the noise to make them. The puppies are born with little extra thumbs here. These are called dew claws. See it right there? And it's right there, see, it's like a little thumb. And what we do is we remove them. But if they're mountain dogs, what happens a lot is they get caught on things. They get caught on trees and sticks, and then they end up having being very, very painful. So when they're three to three to five days old, we have them removed, numb them up, and then we do stitches, which I insist on, so they don't feel anything. See, and it, it just kind of is a useless tone. It doesn't work, they can't move it, correct? Yeah, well, it's, it's there, but it gets caught on everything, and so what it ends up doing is when they're outside running, they get it caught, and it's extremely painful. See right there? That's a cute little foot. 